Assalamu alaikum. This presentation is on one variant of a multiple Z plastis in parallel. The type of multiple Z plastis that you would consider if you want to achieve maximum stretch of the length of the central limb and provided that you have enough tissues in the transverse axis that are elastic enough to be transposed into the central axis. Generally speaking, there are two common variants of multiple Z-plastis, the in-series variant or the in-parallel variant. You would consider the in-series multiple Z-plastis when you have limited amount of tissues in the transverse axis, the axis uh, perpendicular to the central limb. Uh, if the amount of tissues above and below the central limb are limited or inelastic enough to be mobilized into the axis of the central uh, limb, then you would consider multiple uh, Z-plastis in series. In this example, you are using two Z-plastis in series in the same direction, and you would mobilize only about half the amount of tissue from the transverse direction that you would have mobilized if you are using a single big Z plasty. And the same applies to another variant of the in series uh, multiple Z plasties, the double opposing Z plasties. You still uh, get the 75% increase in the length of the central limb but with much less mobilization of tissues from the transverse axis. In the other variant of the multiple z plastids, the in-parallel variant, you can achieve maximum lengthening of the central limb. But you do this but on the expense of mobilizing more tissues above and below the central limb. In the in-series type, you divide the central limb into smaller z plastis unit. But in the in-parallel type, you use the whole of the central limb, but you create two different big z plastis around the, that central limb. Uh, though here in this example, the one is the 90 degrees, uh, and the, this limb and the other a perpendicular limb, and then another big Z plasty again with the central axis as its central limb with 45 degrees each. So you have two uh, big Z plasties in parallel to affect double the lengthening and that you would have achieved with a single Z plasty with a 90 degrees in example for in this example. You can even stretch it more if you use the six flaps Z plasty in which you create three big um, Z plasties, each with the central limb as its own central limb as well, but with different angles. You would take these two pairs, the other two pairs, and the third two pairs. And that would actually achieve maximum stretching of the central limb axis. How much increase in the length of the central limb you can achieve by choosing multiple Z plastids in parallel rather than a single big Z plasty. If you use the in this example the four flaps 45 degrees each in the apex of the four flaps, you could achieve doubling of the central limb, increase in length of the central limb to its double. If you increase the angle to 60 degrees each at the apex of the four flaps, you could achieve 150% increase in the central limb dimension. If you take it further and you um, move six flaps by dividing the big angle into three 45 degrees each, and the same on the other side, you could again achieve a 150% increase in the length of the central limb. That's If that is required, that is, uh, can be achieved by this very simple uh, technique. And this is to demonstrate this simple technique. 
you have here a four centimeter uh, central limb and you draw two lines perpendicular to it from both ends and these 90 degrees angles would then be divided into two 45 degrees each and by this you have created four flaps with an angle of 45 degrees at its apex now the next thing is to incise and mobilize these four flaps and then the central two flaps the two and three would become would go to the periphery you would interpose them to the outside and once you have the four flaps in position they can be stitched we've achieved 100 percent increase in length with the 45 degrees four flaps but if you want to increase the length further you can use the 60 degrees flaps uh, this time you draw an angle of 120 degrees that's 90 plus another 30 divide both angles into two equal 60 degrees and then you have the four flaps four triangular flaps with a 60 degrees angle at the top and you mobilize them in the same way and this time you achieve a 150 percent increase in the length of the central limb rather than 100 percent and this is to demonstrate the technique itself you have here the same four centimeter central limb you are drawing two other uh, four centimeters lateral limbs perpendicular to it at both ends then you divide the angle the 90 degrees into two 45 degrees angle and you have now created four triangular flaps each with an angle of 45 degrees at its uh, top the next thing is to precisely incise these flaps and undermine it in order to uh, free it for transpositioning in its new uh, location care must be taken while uh, incising and freeing the tips of the flap in order not to reduce the blood supply to the tip any further so you've freed the one of the flaps now and you continue undermining it fully and the same for the other three flaps as well the two central flaps number two and three would now be transposed to the periphery so you take number three first and then number two would go to the other side as well and once these flaps are secured in position by a corner stitch and you would notice the significant increase in the length of the central limb to almost double its original size these are the four flaps now with three and two at the periphery one and four in the center and this is four centimeters up to the middle of the uh, reconstruction so you would expect a hundred percent increase in the length of the central limb a useful technique when you want to achieve maximum stretch of the length of the wound in the central limb axis uh, not only in the skin also in the palate or the pharynx or other uh, contracted tissues Salam alaikum.